Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my channel ASP.NET and today I'm going to show you the next part of uh, a shopping cart project. So here we have a all orders uh, action method and uh, orders controller and uh, in uh, orders, all orders controller we have a or, uh, order header and a user is in role that is the admin and the you know that the, there is already discussed about uh, orders controller. So uh, today we are talking about the order.js file and uh, here we have a order.js file where we have a data table and document.ready functions just after the document ready uh, first of all search the URL window.location.search if it is found any keyword related to the pending approved shipped and uh, under process then we will uh, we will assign uh, that uh, keyword to the order table function and here we have a order table function like with the status and the status represents the keyword that is uh, pending approved etc okay so here we have uh, order table function and in order table function we have a data table d table and that table is related to the my table that is available in index.cshtml file of the order uh, controller so order controller and pick that url that is all orders with the status okay so admin order all orders status equals to status and these are columns name phone orders status and order total and respectively when we click on the edit button then uh, that url will goes for uh, that url that is admin order and order details okay so here we go and and here we have a table and these are the uh, represent the status and it's it will take run, uh, it will take some time to run your project and here we have a orders like that when we click on any action button then order details will be uh, called okay so here we have approved under processing under shipped accounts but uh, here we have only the pendings uh, pending status is there because payment is not approved And first of all, login into the system. Okay, that's fine. Here we have order ID is generated. So just first of all, call to the home details, add to cart. and go for the stripe for the proceed to pay make purchase and here we have a stripe conf uh, configuration for the pay for the card so the test for the um, stripe payment formation and uh, email that is Jacob at the red gmail.com and the card information is there month and uh, year jacob united states address is xyz is randomly you can take it here and new york 
one, two, three, four, five. Processing and your order ID is generated after a few seconds. Okay, your order is success, your order ID is 9. So, after when we click on the order, you can see that uh, after the payment is approved, your order status will be also approved. So, the uh, functioning will be uh, okay uh, for the based on this uh, filtering. So, based on the route that is written to all others and here we have a pending approved under process and the shift and all these are all functioning proper well when we click on the added button uh, then you can see that order uh, detailed id with the id is one Okay, here we have a admin order and order detail ID is 1. And with the whole orders is there. When we click on the added button, then order order detail will be called. So here we have the code in the order.js file. When we call uh, the order detail that uh, action method will be called okay so in the integer id is the order header id actually and order vm uh, first of all create the order vm that is the order view model and in the order view model we have two uh, things actually first of one uh, is the order header and the list of order detail and you can say that a list of innumerable type of order details in the order vm so just uh, create it now in the view model section and you know that in the order header we have a application user and order detail actually get the uh, order header id including with the product So just go for the uh, view model section of your data access layer and create a new view model that is order VM. Oops, select the class that is order VM. That's okay. And make it public that is order VM. And here we have a order header and the order detail is there so just right click on it and uh, make the uh, corrected the namespace related to the order header and uh, order detail and resolve the namespace is also order VM okay so here we have a order header and the order detail is there In the order header, uh, get the order header by their user ID, and the, in the order detail, we get the order uh, all the order details which is related to innumerable of uh, order header ID. So, including properties with the product. Okay, now in the return view order VM, and just right click on the order detail and add a new view for the order detail, where all the all the order detail will be there with their uh, user information as well as the product information so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to shopping cart project in sp.net core 6.0 and uh, we will further talk about uh, asp.net core uh, order details 
uh, where uh, admin can uh, ship the order and uh, complete the under process uh, order so uh, wait for some times and uh, we will touch soon okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos